In a second here, I'm going to invite up to the stage the president of ARMA International, and she's going to help you look at the many options that you have. There's more than one way to go. As you're about to find out, there are many roads. So here, to help you set your GPS devices, is ARMA International President Komal Gulich. I'd run up here, but I don't have my cleats on. I know. It's a long way. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Como. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Arma International, I'd like to welcome you to the 57th, uh, I'd like to uh, welcome you to the 57th Annual Conference and Expo. You've made a great choice in coming to this conference. Let me see a show of hands of how many of you have been to more than one annual conference. Wow, wow. You see these people in the audience here, uh, we're really glad to have you back again and again, or however many times that is. Uh, you know what a great, tremendous resource ARMA International is, and these people keep coming back year after year. Now, who in the crowd is here for the first ARMA International conference? Another astounding group. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> we're also glad to have you here. There's something that ties us all together. The people that have been here for several years and the people that are here for the first time. You're getting help in finding your way. Armour International is moving the profession forward with the principles and at the same time through our education courses, web seminars, through standards and other publications, we're moving the professionals forward as well. We're helping you find your way. Because if you had all the answers, you wouldn't need continuing education. You wouldn't need your peers, networking. Each of us took a little different path to get here. And I don't know if I want to do this, but let me tell you about the path I took to get here. Uh, so I went to college, came out with a degree in social science, landed a job in the IT world. It's sort of a mix of the processes. And through that random path that I took, I went into the micrographics area, began working on projects, projects to eliminate my job, continuing projects to eliminate my job. Apparently, they just couldn't get rid of me. And then I, I wound my way in through the records management, became a certified records manager. And now I lead the, uh, a portion of the records and information compliance department. So what really led me to ARMA? My mentor. My mentor told me that in order to be successful, you should be a part of your professional organization. Who can relate to that story? There are many, as many stories of people strangely wandering into the profession as there are people into this room. Another way to say that is there are, more, there, there are more titles in this room, and very few of us have the same title. Projecting forward now, where do you see yourself in the future? Do you have a clear path lined out in front of you? My intuition tells me that not everyone does. Just as there are many, many ways forward to this point in your career, there are equally infinite number of ways to the future. But what does that future look like? Well, there just really isn't a good map to help detail all those career possibilities. And this morning, I'd like to show you one of the possible map, map opportunities and how to best use that map to get you where you want to go. First, we'll examine the career landscape of information governance. Those are the career possibilities. At the midpoint of your career, and even at the most senior level of your profession, it still is as open as it has ever been, and you will have more avenues and opportunities than ever before. As a concept, information governance <clears throat> has created multiple pathways, where once being <clears throat> excuse me, in the profession meant staying within one safe, confinement of the traditional records management box. Now, so many relatives need, there are so many areas that need your help. They need the skills that you bring. Let's look at some of those areas. This room represents professionals from each of these areas. Your neighbors in this crowd specialize in these disciplines. In the house today, we have archivists, 
information security experts, information privacy, the legal categories of litigation support, lawyers, specialists in e-discovery. More than ever before, you classify yourselves as being in the IT department. There are professionals here that live in the auditing world. Compliance professionals are in this room. The titles at the top of these career focal points, Chief Compliance Officer, Chief Information Officer, Senior Counsel. And at the top of this chart is a great place to set your sights. But there are a lot of great stops along the way as well. Each of these areas hold career promises. Spending time in each of these areas does something wonderful. It gives you a great additional career options <laughs> additional career options that makes you more valuable to your employer. In easy economic times, having a broad background is a good thing. In challenging economic times, a broad background is critical. And I've been looking around a little bit, and the times are fairly challenging. When I was in college, I didn't, <laughs> my dad will attest to this one, I didn't know what I wanted to major in. And many of us in the crowd share that same experience. As you went along, you started to narrow down things that you either liked or didn't like. I know I don't want to study biology. Music isn't for me. And slowly, you cobbled together a pathway and narrowed down the fields that you were interested in. Most of us are out of college now, some of us with advanced degrees. Um, but the trend continues as we move forward in our career. Some of the areas in our career chart weren't well developed back in the day as, as they have progressed today, as they have progressed now. Um, look at these areas, explore those areas, and become more valuable. You may just find something that you fall in love with. Now let's look at how you act when navigating your career. And I can tell you a story about men not asking for directions, but that's not this kind of a presentation. Suffice to say, the stereotype of men not asking for directions, whether it's true or not, has the same result. You're not going to get where you're going in a timely manner if you, if you don't ask for directions. We could take where we're going in two different ways. First, there's your career path. Uh, the, your career, where will your career path take you? And secondly, maybe you're trying to solve a business problem. You're asking for directions will help you get where you're going in either case. We all know that networking is important. That's one of the main reasons you chose Arma International. We are your professional network. At one point, you can go online directly to the, to the, to the online membership directly, directory and look someone up uh, with a related title or in the related field. Like so many of you, I've had great success in, in solving a problem by making that call. For others, the Arm International LinkedIn group is another great resource. Throw out a question and if throw out a question and there'll be lots of answers. If you haven't joined, it's a great resource for professionals in all areas. What may seem like a daunting mountain of a problem has already been scaled by others. Would you like the ultimate resource? A group of people stood up a little bit earlier to identify themselves, the fellows of Arm International. They've been there, they've seen it all, and they know what you're going through. Whether it's career advice, professional advice, they have an opinion to share, although it helps if you buy a couple of them a drink before they share that information. <laughs> no matter who you turn to, it's okay to ask for help. Get some advice, learn from the others this week and beyond. Finally, I'd like you to imagine you're on a leisurely Sunday drive. Have you ever been out on one of those just to be about fall days now and decided to take that road you've not been down before? You take a right turn instead of a left turn? And you're a little bit apprehensive at first. You don't know where you're going and you start to look around. You see different things, new ways to get to other areas and you're always going to always get the way back home. So it's a, just a different experience. I know we don't often take time to go take that leisurely drive, but when you do, you find you, you've got different horizons. I wouldn't have had an experience like that, and I usually do this on my bicycle, so the car thing is a little bit difficult, but uh, 
If I would have stayed on the same path, the same route, I wouldn't have been able to see all those different things if I didn't step out of my comfort zone. Navigating your career is a lot like that. I want you to get out of your comfort zone. Think of all the other areas there are in information governance. There are many new things you can explore, fields you may love, tricks that people in your area take for granted that you can learn to apply. But como, you might say. Uh, I've reached a certain point in my career, why would I want to start over? Uh, and I'd say, because you are an expert in your area. You don't necessarily have to start over to choose a new career path. Simply adding some wisdom to your resume could just be the thing that you need. But also look at it another way, that you have something to offer other people in other groups. That's one of the ways our profession grows. Think of the field of social media. Now, over here uh, is everyone, this side, over here is everyone that knows something about information governance or records management. If we sat in our comfort zone and didn't branch out into social media, where would that be? Chaos. Uh, and when I think about it for that minute, it already is described as chaos. But how much would it, worse would it have been if we stayed away and never entered into the social media area? SharePoint, another great example. Consulting careers have been made by coming to an organization after IT has implemented SharePoint. And it's all centered about retroactively applying governance to the system. Sometimes we're slow to get in front of the curve, and there's a lot more cleaning up on the back end, more time, more headaches. But those new technologies haven't always been in our comfort zone. Several of you drove your car here. And this is dealing with a comfort. Several of you who drove your car here, uh, but outside of uh, Chicago, Outside of city limits is a sizable cornfield. And if you're like me, when you get out in that wide open road, you pop in the MP3 player, set the cruise control to about 80, uh, 79, um, 79, and you sit back and you're comfortable. Cruise control is comfortable. You stop thinking about part of what you do on a regular basis. In your career, that's not okay. We float along in our career, uh, just doing the same thing over and over again, uh, and we take half or more of our minds off of where we're going. And let us, we let our careers happen to us. Don't put your career on cruise control. Be active, be intentional. Know where you're going and actively make your way there. Plot your course intentionally and be responsible for each step along the way. When you're choosing sessions this week, Choose sessions outside your comfort zone, but still within your level. You'll notice that the sessions are marked core, management, and strategic. The core sessions are the basics. Management sessions are for those that have already had some, some level of experience, some hands-on experience, and the strategic level are for high-level experts uh, who are keyed into the strategy at the highest levels. If you are going to dip your toes into the water of a new area, Jumping right into that strategic level is going to give you a headache. Uh, if you were going to try to learn to swim, jumping into the deep end of the pool works, but only some of the time. Uh, and I don't like those odds. So choose a core session uh, in one of the areas that you're not comfortable in. Learn the basics. If the basics seems interesting, keep going. You may find a new direction that gives you tremendous satisfaction. To sum it all up, you have many options as a professional today, more options than you've ever had before. With the sessions you have here, online, and in your chapter, Arma International has pre presented you with a roadmap. This week, you will have the opportunity to take that roadmap in your hands and use it. Talk to your peers about your experiences, meet them, understand where they're coming from and where they want to go. Then. Go down a road you haven't been down before. Stretch, stretch well beyond your comfort zone. Try these new opportunities in a safe environment and walk out with something new, a new thought, a new idea, and then act on it. At the end of the day, you'll be glad you made it out of your comfort zone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Como. That was excellent.